Built at some point between the 13th and late 15th century, this Irish castle has seen more gruesome deaths than a Game of Thrones wedding. As legend has it, during a struggle for power within the O'Carroll clan, which had a fondness for poisoning dinner guests, one member plunged a sword into his brother, a priest, as he was holding mass in the castle's chapel. The room is now called the Bloody Chapel, and the priest is said to haunt the church at night. The horror doesn't end there, at least not according to the macabre history outlined on Leap Castle's website. During renovations in the early 1900s, workmen found a secret dungeon in the Bloody Chapel with so many human skeletons, they filled three cartloads when hauled away. The dungeon was designed so that prisoners would fall through a trapdoor, have their lungs punctured by wooden spikes on the ground, and die a slow, horrific death within earshot of the sinister clan members above. Edinburgh Castle, Scotland One of the biggest attractions in Scotland's capital city is also considered to be one of its most haunted. With sections dating back more than 900 years, the historic fortress's ancient dungeons have led visitors to report sightings of colonial prisoners from the American Revolutionary War and French prisoners from the Seven Years' War, and even the ghost of a dog wandering the castle's dog cemetery. Hoyabachu Forest, Romania from the moment a military technician captured a photograph of a UFO hovering over the forest in 1968, Hoyabachu has gained paranormal notoriety around the world, with some believing it to be a portal that causes visitors to disappear. Those who have passed through the forest without being zapped into another realm have reported rashes, nausea, and feelings of anxiety, according to The Independent. Known as the Bermuda Triangle of Transylvania, the spooky Kirk trees that populate the forest just add to the eerie atmosphere. Eastern State Penitentiary, Philadelphia The castle-like Eastern State Penitentiary took solitary confinement to new levels when it was built in 1829. Prisoners lived alone, exercised alone, and ate alone, when an inmate left his cell, a guard would cover his head with a hood so he couldn't see or be seen. The prison had to abandon its solitary system due to overcrowding in 1913, although the forms of punishment did not get any less severe, chaining an inmate's tongue to his wrists is one example, before it closed for good in 1970. The site now welcomes thousands of visitors every year, both for its museum and Halloween celebrations. Reported paranormal happenings have included disembodied laughter, shadowy figures, and pacing footsteps. St. George's Church, Czech Republic Originally built in 1352, St. George's Church, about 125 miles east of Prague, boasts quite a history. The building was nearly destroyed by fires many times over the centuries, and its roof partially collapsed during a funeral service in 1968. After that event, the congregation became convinced the church was haunted and refused to enter, as a result, the building was stripped by robbers and fell prey to vandalism. That all changed in 2012, when an art student at the University of West Bohemia had an idea to lure visitors back to the church, a collection of 30 ghost sculptures sitting in the pews with their heads bowed. Today, tourists have flocked to the ghost church, which opens to the public every Saturday afternoon, to snap photos and even sit among the unmoving specters while praying. Bergelts, Germany it is said that a young countess named Agnes, who was betrothed to a fellow noble but called off the engagement after she met him. The scorned nobleman laid siege to the castle and Agnes perished after taking up arms to defend her castle. Her mournful spirit can still be sensed today, most strongly in her former bedroom with her pierced armor and battle axe on display. Chuck Lagoon, Micronesia What's even scarier than a haunted graveyard? Probably a haunted graveyard that sits 50 feet underwater. Micronesia's Chuck Lagoon, formerly Truck Lagoon, served as a fortified base for the Japanese Navy during World War II, and it was attacked by American forces during a three-day airstrike in 1944. Dozens of warships, planes, tanks, and railroad cars sank to the bottom of the lagoon, where they remain today in what is known as the Ghost Fleet of Truck Lagoon. The ship graveyard is immensely popular with scuba divers, with Potty dubbing it one of the best wreck diving destinations on the planet. Underwater explorers can swim up close to the wartime vessels, which are littered with weapons, gas masks, and, according to some superstitious divers, a few waterlogged ghosts. Valley of the Kings, Egypt 
Located along the Nile River near Luxor, the Valley of the Kings is one of the most important archaeological sites in Egypt and the entire world. The valley served as a burial ground for pharaohs from the 16th to the 11th century BC, though it really only gained international attention in modern times after the discovery of the tomb of Tutankhamun, King Tut, in 1922. The excavation of Tutankhamun's tomb was funded by an English aristocrat, Lord Carnarvon, who died of infection shortly after the burial site was discovered, launching rumors of a pharaoh's curse that continued to inspire works of fiction and mummy sequels a century later. Today, visitors to the Valley of the Kings sometimes claim to see the image of an Egyptian pharaoh riding a chariot pulled by ghostly black horses. Dock Street Theatre, Charleston Charleston's Dock Street Theatre is a beautiful downtown venue, hosting plays and concerts throughout the year. But the site has quite a tumultuous history. Aside from a fire burning down the original theatre in 1740, the building suffered damage from an earthquake in 1886 and fell into abandon during the early 20th century. To make matters even more spooky, a woman named Nettie Dickerson was supposedly struck by lightning while standing on the balcony in the mid-1800s, and her ghost is said to glide along the theater's second floor. Jazirat Al Hamra, United Arab Emirates You'll find the nearly abandoned town of Jazirat Al Hamra about 14 miles southwest of Ras Al Khaimah in northern UAE, located between a huge mall and a huge water park. Established in the 14th century, the town grew into a thriving pearl fishing village in the 1830s before it was suddenly abandoned in 1968. The town now consists of dirt roads, 13 mosques, and more than 300 coral and mud houses, and, of course, some resident spirits. People claim that visitors are bound to experience strange noises and chilling apparitions, usually jinns, genies, in the form of animals. Ancient Ramen, England Built in 1145, Ancient Ramen in Watton Under Edge has played many roles over the centuries, a priest's residence, housing for masons and slaves, an inn, and a public house. It also happens to be one seriously haunted spot. Architectural Digest writes, with ghostly children, a high priestess, and even an incubus, Google it, but don't say you weren't warned, wandering the halls, guests have reportedly leapt from the windows in a frenzy to escape. Himeji Castle, Japan Himeji Castle dates to 1333 and is regarded as one of the greatest remaining examples of Japanese castle architecture. It also has some rather eerie folklore associated with it, most notably, the story of Okiku, a one-time palace servant who was falsely accused of losing valuable dishes. She was killed and thrown into the well in the castle. Her ghost now haunts the castle at night, counting dishes in a mournful tone, she reaches nine before shrieking and returning to the well, 